session four academic paper. You should be watching the session four analyzing resources video first because these two assignments connect. They should be supporting one another. The idea is that we're taking that next step. We've written a five paragraph paper about ourselves and our goals, something we should be familiar with. We've applied it to the idea of a literary analysis, reading a story and adding some quotes. And now we're going to be choosing our own topic and going out there into the Great Wide Web and finding resources. And we want to have that opportunity to explore something we're interested in. Um, there are some details though that could make it a little more helpful, a little more a little more simple. Um, and as always, do not forget that I am your best support. So send me a message, get my support and help. So the directions, if we break it down into four details, are to select a topic of interest, but remember that this is limited. We're just looking at a couple of pages and that doesn't give us a ton of space. So we want at least two, but no more than four resources. We want three to four pages and we want it to have APA formatted. Again, these are all things that um, I'm not grading super harshly on. I'm just giving you the opportunity to work on these ideas in an environment that's safer and more comfortable so that we can work on them together and I can see where you are and how to help you. So what would a topic of interest look like? Um, start with open-ended questions. Remember the idea in our discussion thread that we don't say, why is this great? So why is this terrible? We say, what is this? And then that's going to help us with the language of that topic. Um, it needs to find that space between broad and narrow. So broad is great because you get to keep narrowing it down. But don't feel badly if it's super narrow because we have very little space and that could be working out really, really well. Um, start with an idea or concept and see what happens. Type in that idea in the Great Wide Web and see where it takes you. And as always, feel free to ask me. I'm here to help you with any of that. So why do we keep it to two to four resources? Why at least two, but no more than four? Well, two, we want to practice, and then we don't want to go overboard because every quote takes time. There's the time it takes to find it, the time to read it, the time to decide what quote section should go into our paper, and the space. Every quote should be signaled. These are ideas in our um, quizzes for sessions one and two. We should signal it by saying something like, according to author, then the year, and then the quote, and then maybe the page nation if it's there. And it should be sandwiched. We should introduce an idea or a concept, then we should quote to back ourselves up, and then we should say, see, I had an idea, here's a reference that proves my idea is great, and this is how it brings it all together. So by the time we signal and sandwich, we've taken a whole paragraph. <laughs> so that's why we only want about two. Pagination, what counts? Well, let's be honest here. Title pages don't count. Neither do reference pages. So when you see that you've got four pages and you're all proud of yourself, take a moment, <laughs> step back, <laughs> and ask if they all count. And they probably don't. So when we're doing our page breaks, we put in our information about who we are and what we're writing. We do a page break. That's our title page. It does not count. Um, our final page does not count. We have only the body of our work. So take a moment and count only those pages with your full paragraphs. Um, but rather than trying to do all this APA stuff yourself, I don't recommend it, go get templates. And we have one in our Blackboard format. So go to student resources on that top blue bar and then use your control F, command F or control F to find the APA section in that page rather than always hunting. So right now in these little boxes, it is in the bottom left. That could change, which is why I want you to be able to do the control F. And, and when you do command F, whichever button it takes to find the find feature, you should type in APA and see where it takes you on that web page. It's a much better way to find things when you're out there. And we're going to click on APA help, which is going to take us to a page about APA and Turbian, Turbian. I can say that. Um, and we want to go to number four, which is the APA sample paper and template. So when we click on that, it's going to show us a great little header of all the items that are available. If we click on number four or we scroll down either way, we should get to our APA sample paper and template and that's where we download the template. It's a great way to start. I save my template and then every time I want to use it, I copy it and I start my new paper. 
or you can always come back here and download a new one. Um, some tiny features that are sometimes forgotten are that you need to double space and you need a 12 point font. Um, this is for readability. This is because I'm reading a lot of papers, every instructor is reading a lot of papers, that not everyone has great eyesight and we want that to be as readable as possible. So double space, 12 point font, we have very few fonts that are allowed. We want things like Times New Roman. Um, there's an entire movie on why Helvetica is the best font in the world. So go find that on YouTube. But we want just a couple of different fonts that are very readable. This isn't a time to be fun. Finally, there are a couple of topics I want you to avoid. Um, if you desperately want to work on one of them, send me an email and we can do that. Um, they are on the no-go list just because if we're out there on the big wide web, um, there are either way too many or way too few academic resources that are helpful and wading through that takes a lot of time and it isn't something you should be doing right now for this assignment. So go out there, explore, remember that um, if you fall off the wagon, I'm never going to say, oh, well, you fell off, you get a zero. I'm always going to come back to you and support you figuring this assignment out to the best of your ability, because that is our goal and aim, that you feel confident and strong when you leave this course, that you can write a good paper. So have fun, and remember to send me emails.